action. Good morning, dolphins. I'm Landon, reporting from the Castro. Good morning, dolphins. I'm VJ, reporting from the Monroe House. Today's day is Monday, April 13th. Is it really already Monday again? Today is International Plant Appreciation Day. Everybody should hug a tree. It is also scrabble. Time to bust out the old scrabble board. It's educational and fun. Happy birthday today to Alex Carpinello. It's Music Monday. Mrs. Borden has a lesson about percussion instruments. Get ready to become a drummer in your own living room. Drums not included or needed. BJ, are you playing with my pots? No. Good Monday morning, dolphins. Good morning, everyone. I want to start today with a little song that was a favorite of my grandparents. The singer is named John Denver, and the song is called Some Days Are Diamonds and Some Days Are Stones. I'm sure we're all having those experiences lately, um, but hopefully today your day is a diamond, and this is for all you guys. A huge thank you to everyone who contributed to the North Topsail Elementary Positive playlist last week. It is great. I had so much fun discovering new music and listening to some of my favorites. You can find that playlist on the NTE News YouTube channel, and I will also add the link to the description of this episode. You can also check your Google Classroom for the link. And now on to today's music lesson. There are four families of instruments. Can you name them? I'll give you a few seconds to see if you can name them. All right, they are brass, woodwind, strings, and percussion. Good job if you got all four of them, and if you even knew one of them, great job. Today we're talking about the percussion family. The members of this family are instruments that you strike or hit, shake, or scrape. Some percussion instruments are unpitched, like a drum or a wood block, and that means they just keep the rhythm. Since pitch is how high or low something is, some percussion instruments have pitches. I put some water in different glasses so we can see how we might hear some pitches. So those are pitched percussion. This is unpitched percussion. 
Your body can also be used in many ways to make rhythms. Can you clap after me? Nice. Can you snap after me? If you can't, just like make little, little um, movements. What about using your mouth? That's what we call beatboxing. of percussionists that get paid to perform because they worked so hard to get really good at what they do. They actually work at Disney World as musicians, but since it's closed, they are still jamming from home in Florida. Here they are. Oh, hi everybody, this is Polly with the Jam It Is. Listen, the guys and I thought that uh, since you couldn't come visit us at Epcot, we could use our voices from home to jam with you. Let me see if I can get the guys on the line. Here we go. Bobby? Oh. Yeah. Hey, sounds good, guys. Everybody, clap them off, a dance them off, a huge voice from home to make up your own song. Check it. We're in the music classroom with all of our awesome percussion instruments, but since school is closed, I would like you to try this activity with your family this week. It's called the Can Can Home Edition. The link is in the description of this episode, but you can also go to your Google Classroom and get the link there. You can also Google the activity if you look up Can Can Home Edition Percussion. You will need to go around your house or your apartment and find things to make sounds with. They could be lids, cans, pencils to use as drumsticks or rhythm sticks, a uh, fork and knife, butter knives, um, anything really that you can think of to make sounds with. Go ahead and be really creative with this. Here is me and my family making a little music and I would love if you guys end up doing this activity you might take a little video and send it to me.
I suggest watching the video first before you try to play along. If you're alone, just pick one of the shapes and follow it. If there's more than one of you, each of you picks a shape and you follow just that shape. You can clap when it's your turn. And then when you're ready, go ahead and grab your instruments and get ready to play along and make some music. Have fun being a percussionist this week. I miss you and I love you. See you soon. Bye, dolphins. And now, here's Harold with the weather report. Hello, I'm Harold. We're putting live here with my roommate Larry and his sister Mary. Mm. Uh, today's low will be a high of 80 and a low of 59. There will be a 100% chance of precipitation. Very Harold. We are in week two of remote learning. Keep up the good work, students, teachers, and parents. We've got this. It's Monday, so set goals and set yourselves up for success. Andrew Carnegie said, if you want to be happy, set a goal that commands your thoughts, liberates your energy, and inspires your hopes. 545. Action. Also, don't forget to laugh especially when things get challenging. A wise educator said, a smile starts on the lips, a grin spreads to the eyes, a chuckle comes from the belly, but a good last burst forth from the soul overflows and bubbles all around. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance followed by the school play. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge to be safe, well prepared, in control, and to make respectful choices. Thanks for tuning in today, Dolphins. Have a great week. I'm Landon. And I'm VJ. Don't forget to say six feet apart. Don't forget to swim to success. Mr. Grumpy Gills. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Dorino singing. Ha, 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 ha. I love to swim in. Dorino. When you want to swim, you want See, to See, I'm gonna get stuck on. now with that song. Now it's in my heart.